How often should you rotate bars in the bench? Now the only reason I'm answering this one is because when I answered the question about specialty bars and talked about the different um, workloads that can be waived when you squat, I had a lot of messages sent to me about this is making things way too complicated. It doesn't need to be that complicated. Well, I guess what they missed is the part of the video where I said it was for advanced lifters. Damn! So when I'm answering this question, it's for advanced lifters. So yes, if you're a beginner or an intermediate, it probably doesn't fucking matter if you're gonna weigh the bars. When you get to a point you are just doing whatever you can do to get five pounds on a lift in a year, then all these types of things matter. They all make a difference because most of them probably aren't going to work. But if you get one that does, that's 25 pounds on a lift. And when you've been doing this for 10 years and you basically maximized, you know, what your genetic or whatever ceiling bullshit you want to say it is, there's always still ways to get around it you just have to keep looking at different things. If you're at that point where you've been doing it this long and you're, you're not making that process and you're not trying different things, don't expect a different fucking result. So I'm answering these questions for the advanced people who are there. So this, no, this is not going to apply for the person that just started powerlifting six weeks ago. It has zero relevance to that. So why am I wasting my time answering it? to piss off the people that got mad the first time. So how often should you rotate your bars in the bench? I don't think you need to rotate the bars in the bench for dynamic work as much as you do with the squat bars. But I do think the same thing with the squat bars, you're going to have different maxes with different bars, which is going to allow for different waving that you can do with your workload compared to the volume. And to explain that again, if you take your sets times your reps times the weight, you're going to have a certain volume or a certain workload. To me, volume is just sets times reps. So whatever that workload is. And if you're training your bench on a dynamic day at 50%, maybe the next week at 55%, next week at 60%, whatever, however you're doing it, that workload is going to change each week based upon that the percentages, the 50, 55, and 60. If those are percentages that work well for you, and or maybe it's 40, 45, 50, so whatever that's gonna be. If they're percentages that work well for you, you can actually fluctuate and cycle that workload by switching bars. So you're, let's say you're, you're max with a cambered grip American bar. It's probably going to be less than it is with a straight bar. So you train at those same percentages, the weight's going to be lower, so thus the workload's going to be lower. So if you want to have descending workload over a period of 12 weeks to see how that works for you, you can do that. If you want to have it ascending, you can do it that way as well. Um, so that's where I can see the value of rotating different bars in there. As again, with the bench, on the dynamic day, I think this, the specificity gets a little more away from the barbell because the grip changes so much. So um, with most of the specialty bars, you're going to go from you know, a standard grip to some type of neutral grip, unless it's a fat bar or something like that. Um, whereas for the squat, you know, yes, the bar's changing on your back as far as where it is, but your stance really isn't changing. The, the mechanics really aren't changing a whole lot. Now, if it's max effort work, you change the bar all the time. I mean, you should have different um, records with each different bar. So you can change those every week. You know, I'm a fan of changing the max effort exercise every week. You know, I know some people like it two weeks, three weeks. To me, I like changing it every week, but it depends on how proficient you are at being able to do the lifts. Some people need a week to kind of get used to it, then a week to max out and so forth. So that's how I'd go about doing that.